Today is October 26, 2011. Now I'm going to be talking about something today that I've talked about in my other videos. I'm going to talk about the reptilians today and some extra extraterrestrials. But it's mostly going to be focused on the real enemy, okay? Which is the reptilian beings that David Icke talks about, all right? They are real. Yes, they are real, all right? They have been in mythology and all cultures around the world, all right? And especially in, in, in the church, okay, when it talks about the devil, all right? Now let's look at the so-called devil, all right? And compare them to the reptilians that David Icke talks about and that I've, I, that I've experienced myself, okay? Now as a child, I heard many, many stories, okay? Many, many stories from my grandparents about the devil, all right? The devil uh, in hell, all right? And I was never really, um, you know, I never really, be really believed what they, what they told me. Okay, I never took it as being literal because I was smart enough to know back then that certain things just didn't add up. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to give you an example. The devil in the Bible, okay, uh, 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 that many religions believe, somewhat is true, okay, but it's not, alright? Now, you know, by me growing up in the South, you know, uh, you know, I always had, had hung around older folks. I was brought up in the church as, as, as being Baptist, okay? So you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't seen and heard a lot of shit, all right. And I don't care what kind of church you go to, if if it's Southern Baptist, you are gonna always hear somebody say that ain't nothing but the devil. You see what I'm saying? The devil made me do this. The devil made me do that. No, the devil ain't do shit. That was your ass that did that. You know. But now let's look at the devil, okay? Reptilian beings that are alive today, all right, that David I talks about and that I know of, actually do live in hell, okay? But it's not the hell, it's not some methodical, methodical place, okay? What's in hell, all right? Heat, lots of heat. It's hot, there's lots of lava, rocks, etc., etc., okay? Let's get this shit straight, cause I I need to set the record straight for all the people that 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 get shit all twisted up. In the earth, there is lava, okay? There is magma, lava. There are beings that live down in the fucking earth. All right, all right. So the thing about it is, people twist this shit around, saying that hell is just some you know place in another dimension it's right here on earth okay and the reason why the 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 devil lives in hell that's what he wants to be that's not where god bound him to be so you gotta understand let's look at the 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 the, the science behind reptilians okay all reptiles they don't generate heat like we do because they not mammals all right, so they need a place to stay warm. Okay, they don't. They they body don't regulate the temperature like we do. They have to sit in the sun or go someplace warm to regulate their body temperature. Okay, if they don't, they'll pass out or either die. So the hell that people speak of in religions is a place where the devil needs to be to survive. Okay, that's his domain. All right. It ain't some place where you know where, where people get sick, who've been bad, who've been good. Yes, it, it, 
It's somewhat like that because there are people down there that are slaves, okay? There are people in hell, in the hell as, as we know it, okay? As we know it here on earth, but inside the earth, all right? And I'm tired of people getting shit all twisted up. First, you got to believe they fucking exist, all right? You cannot think that this these reptilian beings are just a fucking myth. When every culture, culture around the world call them different names. They're the same fucking creatures, but they just call different names. The Dagas, the Chittahuli, okay? Different names. But it's the same fucking species. And they live a long time. Their lifespans are a long... Think about a turtle. It ain't nothing for a turtle to live 75 to 100 years. Okay? We talking about these reptilian beings. These beings that have been here for a long time. Thousands of years. Okay? Some of them are thousands of years old. Okay? They've been here for a long time. They've been here running shit. Alright? Running shit. And the thing about it is they, they stayed undetected. These are fucking masters, okay? They operate on a level you can't even comprehend. Alright? First you gotta understand they fucking exist. Alright? They exist. And you gotta understand how they operate. You shall know them by their deeds. Look at history, okay? Let's go back to the Bible. The devil attempted Eve in the garden, all right? I already explained to you, if you've been watching my videos, you know that God is a group of people, okay? The Anunnaki, headed by Anu, all right? The devil tempted Eve. See, you got to understand that that's how they operate, all right? Whatever happened in the Garden of Eden, whether if it's a myth or whatever, it goes to show you how they operate. They like cutting deals. You ever heard of making a deal with the devil? Yes, they, they, they like cutting deals. They don't force you to do that, not initially, okay? They trick you into doing shit. Just like a lot of people that was tricked into uh, these, 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 uh, these mortgages and the houses, you know, the mortgage crisis, and they end up losing their fucking house. That's how the reptilians operate, okay? These bastards are masters at tricking people, deceiving people, okay? And when that shit don't work, then they they got it in for you. They go to war with you. They'll kill you. They'll do any fucking thing. They will kill you using other people. That's how smooth they are. Just the way the U.S. Uh, used the, 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 the so-called uh, Taliban or whatever to go and uh, get uh, G Gaddafi. Alright? They use other people to do their bidding for them. Okay? They don't put it in their own work. They don't get their hands dirty whatsoever. That's why I'll be telling you white folks, okay? Stop being dumb. Don't look past the illusions, okay? We in the same fucking boat, all right? We in the same boat. You can't possibly be arrogant enough to think that you better than black folks when you're on the same planet. You breathe the same air as black folks, okay? You ain't been here that long. You still a baby compared to the rest of the nations on the earth that know what, what the fuck is going on because their ancestors wrote about it, okay? And you motherfuckers are the ones that's getting get, getting getting screwed over by the reptilians, all right? They are not screwed over everybody else. You cut deals with them. I just how we even wonder about this shit, okay? About the military industrial complex being taken over. Who the fuck took it over? If you running shit already, who took it over? A foreign substance, a foreign beings. And I thought they came from fucking outer space, okay? They came from underground, all right? They came from underground. They said, fuck it, we gonna cut a deal. 
And we're going to renege on that deal. Now you owe us. You give us this, you give us that. And we'll let you have this over here. Huh? It, goes, it, it even goes back to Kennedy, if you listen to that damn speech that he made. He, let, he was letting you know what was going on. You white folks ain't listening. You like, fuck it, it's good to be white. We're going to continue to enslave these niggas. As long as I get my, half, my, my piece of the American pie, fuck the rest. I don't care what goes on deep within the government. As long as I see a white face running things, I'm fine. You motherfuckers are dumb if you believe that you run shit on this planet. You do not run shit on this planet. It's the goddamn reptilians that's doing it, alright? It's the goddamn reptilians that's causing the pain on the earth. And they need to be put down. Immediately. Immediately. You white folks that fucked up the world, okay? Been tricked into fucking up the world. Fucking up the fu every damn thing. Because you cut deals with these bastards, okay? If you all you gotta do is look at black folks and the rest of the world and see, okay? Like I said, you should know them by their deeds, all right? And see what the fuck happened to us. You, you, all you gotta do is pay attention, okay? Don't be arrogant to think that you run shit on this planet. You do not. Alright, even David Icke even tell you that shit. This the black man that's telling you this shit now. Alright? And David Icke ain't no black man. He, he don't go through the shit I go through, alright? He ain't went through the shit my ancestors went through. I'm telling you, it's fucking reptilians that run the planet. I'm gonna tell you what they look like, okay? They come in different sizes and shapes. But the average one, Stand tall, all right. Very lean. They have a a, a, a reptilian type skin. The skin is some some parts of it is snake like. Other parts is like a gator. I live in the in, in, in the territory where there's gators and water moccasins. The abundance of gators and water moccasins. So I know what the fuck a reptilian look like. Okay, a reptilian species. All right. And that's the closest thing I can uh, tell you about the, the, the skin, all right? And they have a lot of strength. These motherfuckers are strong, all right? They at least have the strength of five men, at least. I maybe even say ten. If you remember the movie, The, the, the Predator, that's exactly... The kind of strength these motherfuckers have, alright? That's the kind of strength they have, but they scary, alright? They are scary. They will avoid conflict, if possible. You back them in a corner somewhere? Yes. They, they will get on you. They will fight. They will do whatever. Some of them have, even have a tail, alright? Some of them have a tail, and if they can whip that tail and, and snap your, both of your fucking legs with one whip, all right? They're strong. They are very strong, all right? And they carry a scent to them that I know, me personally, I never smelled in my entire life, all right? I don't know if it's, if it's some kind of pheromone or some shit like that. But these motherfuckers do exist and they live for a long time. And they have claws also. Alright? They can claw their way in the shit. Like a cat. Not 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 no house cat. Alright? I'm talking about like a fucking tiger. Alright? If you ever go up against one of these motherfuckers, you let me break it down to you. Like I said, I live in, in Bayou Country, okay? Gators and shit like that. I was, always, I was always taught when a gator get on your ass, you get you go for the eyes. Alright? You go for the eyes. Same thing with these motherfuckers. You go for the eyes if one of them get on you. It's more than likely it won't happen. Because they some fucking cowards and they'll go get somebody else. Get one of, one of you to turn on another. They, they are these most motherfucking evil things. That, that, now, I'm going to tell you white folks. You white folks, a lot of 